My name is Margaret N. Windsor, and this is uh, the 11th now of April. And I'm going to show you, I'm up at night, I'm just going to show you this, and, and uh, I'm not going to show any body parts. This is just one side, they're all over me, I've been showing them. I'm not going to show the rest of it up because I want to get in here and show you something. Um, this is scabies and uh, bed bugs. Uh, this is Super 8. I slept here a couple of nights. I paid for it. Uh, eaten to death. Now then, when I came in here a couple of nights ago, the only thing on this bed I took out of a brand new um, suitcase I just bought, so it's paper out of the suitcase uh, that comes with it and that's all that's been put on this bed last night I didn't have them change this I just got over here and slept in this bed well it's worse than the other one so now I'm going to show some pictures of why this all out war has been done this is Larry Flint who endorsed me in Hustler magazine in 1984 uh, I was out there in the political campaign when he replaced, to replace Larry McDonald, Congressman Doctor, I wrote about. This is my Aunt Georgia O'Keefe. That's how Elizabeth lives in my home. I was kidnapped in 41 and brought to Moulton, Alabama, given the name of a twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey. I married a Childers. This is the Dempsey family, and this is me. And it was a horrible existence. They were dressed up there. They didn't have cars, and they didn't show the shack and the abuse that was done to me. This is Wallace Simpson that was supposed to marry my father. She married a double. They took out my father. My father was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe. Sister Georgia. This is where the Brits came to Virginia some years back. That's about Diana. They had a limo down at the Hilton. Well, not the Hilton, down at the uh, Roanoke, which is the fancy motel. I'm living on the mountain in the, anyway, cold and winter. And so what else did I want to show? Um... Uh, I guess that's it, and you're asking me, uh, people would be, uh, what's this to do with the bed books? I put up here for a long, lot of years and years, a friend, I understand I think he is now, I thought he was bought off maybe, but he gave me a phone, because I'm kept penniless and homeless, gave me a phone to upload the video. Because I can't get an attorney, and uh, it's, a, it's such a horrific crime that spends a lifetime. But what I wanted to, uh, I just, uh, prior I'd put up about, uh, I'm allergic to chemicals. I have an autoimmune disorder, and when I'm around force-fed toxic fumes, like it would be in here, you could. Air condition, it's easy enough to sabotage it or soak your bed in, um, certain chemicals or whatever, uh, household cleaners or uh, sealants. I don't have to, people can imagine, they know. You get to the owners of where I've lived, especially if I'm forced to live in motels when I get, or out in the forest and camp. Um, so I'll leave that to your imagination. Everybody knows I've tried to leave here and I've been run back to the Roanoke area since 86. Uh, my immune system, uh, it's an autoimmune, uh, when I'm around toxic fumes, it makes my immune system attack itself and causes uh, inflammation, massive inflammation. Over the years, it can take out your kidneys, lungs, liver, every part of your body. So now then I couldn't take a picture of that. And if I can't get an attorney, I can't, I can't prove it. So I've put it up on YouTube, Facebook, etc. Now then, 
I'm just going to get to this. The Patels and Shaw's on most of these have gotten wealthy off of the motels up and down I-85 in Roanoke area. And I was told when I first came here that the Patels were sent from India to help me. And I always liked the Indian people, but they've gotten, like a lot of other people, gotten wealthy off of me. They own, where I'm at now, they own most of them here in, in Christiansburg. They've spread out, and um, I don't know where else, what other states or what other properties they have. Um, but they've gotten quite big. The other thing I want to um, just give an example I'm run from place to place. I stayed at Night's Inn. Um, I went there on November the 5th of this past year. I'd stayed there some over the last years. But anyway, I was promised a um, apartment at Richfield in Salem, Roanoke here, uh, retirement. And so I stayed there because it doesn't look good if you move. It does, And you try to tell this, and everybody around here knows it, and they don't care. Uh, they're not going to get involved. Um, no attorney I can't get. So anyway, I, I stuck it out, and I went in, and about two weeks later, I started getting what felt like lice on me. And the maintenance guy, uh, the maintenance guy, when he came in, I, he looked like he was Mormon, the way he was dressed with the black hat and the beard and all that. And he came in, and he soaked the carpet, and I asked him not to, but I was allergic to chemicals to just spray around, but he soaked the carpet. Well, I started getting stung on the feet. Well, then it was like I had lice that developed. I stayed there till I couldn't stay again. They moved me down from 132 to 140. I went in there, and same thing, lice. They soaked the carpet, and you could feel them stinging you, and uh, lice all over you in the eyes. I thought it was lice. It was stinging my, in my eyes, the eyelids, and horrible my hair. So then I moved from there, right, I believe in the room next door, right the room next door, so there was 139. Well, then I started getting what I now know was the scabies. Oh, I had um, bed bugs. I even got pictures of that, so I had both. And he sprayed. I allowed him to spray every time he came. Uh, and he said he didn't know what it was spraying for. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I stuck it out there. And I'm trying to, I started getting the bad bites showing up all over me. So they moved me then up to 133, which is almost where I started. Well, I stayed there and it got so horrible, the bites and everything. And I asked to move again. They moved me to 141, and they're being rude to me. I mean, you'd have to see uh, what was done. Anyway, uh, I, uh, did I go to the doctor? Yeah. I went to urgent care. It was so bad all over my body, and I've got all this up on YouTube and Facebook. Took photographs. At least you can photograph if it's not doing me any good. I can't get an attorney, I don't suppose. I haven't tried this time. But anyway, uh it was bed bugs, and she gave me hydrocortisone. But before I got the prescription filled, I went in, and I uh, that morning to get the prescription filled, and my face was all blown up, swollen, my nose, everything. And that's happened, and I put all this up on videos. It's horrible what it's done to my facial and everything. Um so it wasn't the hydrocortisone, it was the bites that did it. Uh, so then I, uh, it was so bad, and they were so mean up there, at, down there at night's end. Of course, none of this was their fault, you know. Uh, so I moved up right next door to Super 8, that's where I'm at now. I'm going to try to get this on. Um, I, in this whole thing, I have lived where in these same places and when I go somewhere else and try to live. I pay for a week or I pay for a month and I may be able to stay one day or one, and this can be proven, believe me, I put it up and it can be proven, and get run off because the fumes are so toxic and I'm sick and my lungs and I leave, take it till I can't take it anymore. So now then, um, 
uh, I wanted to show this because this is just accident, okay? Um, so I moved up to Super 8. And it's I stayed here too last year, and it was a nice motel. The people aren't friendly; they're from India, the same. And I, it has nothing to do being from India, but they just don't aren't very friendly. Uh, but the place was clean and everything, and a decent price for it. So I had I end up paying what I started to say. I pay for a month. I can stay a week and get run off and lose my rent, or I can pay for a week and be made to move run because of the fumes. Now, um, I had paid through the 5th this month there. Well, I left on the 4th. It was so bad. And I came up here to Super 8. It's right next door to them. And there's still uh, Patels and Shaws. And I don't know if this one, they're still from India, so I don't know if they're associated with that group that's been doing a lot of this. And they're right up with Tim Kaine, the governors, and now I'm not important. Um, the former governors and, um, uh, well, anyway. So uh, now that I'm in here and I had some rewards, which is money to me, I could have used for a good time somewhere, you know. Uh, but I moved, they put me in a room that was a hundred, I'm sorry, $71 here. And uh, first night, I'm soaked. It, uh, same thing. I've got uh, the bites not covered me. So the second night, I let them change the linen. And it was worse. The third night, I have nowhere to go. I go to the woods, and believe it or not, I'm run from there. Ask Bob Goodlatte, who's on the Intelligence and Judicial Committee here uh, up in D.C. He's from here. Uh, he knows all about it. All of them do. The ex governors, everything. Um, so now then I stay there three nights and use up my time that should have been used for a good time for people, for me. So they move me from 121, they moved me to 114. Uh, I paid to stay there, I believe, three nights. The same thing happened there. I mean, it's horrible, but I got a bed bug, uh, a picture bed bug. I got pictures of bed bugs from down there. I didn't know I had scabies uh, down at, uh, I still have them, <laughs> in a plastic bag. Not that any of this does me any good. But anyway, uh, I stayed there three nights, and they t actually just wanted me to leave. That They weren't responsible. They didn't do, none of this was their doing. So then they moved me across. Uh, I, went, I had to go to urgent care again. I was so bad, and they gave me some more. Uh, medicine to put on me, which is doing me no good. Uh, you have to be where you can, uh, well, the, uh, an apartment like normal people have where you can wash and have clothes and not have to go to Walmart and pay a cab $20 of, anyway and get a new uh, luggage, which I don't have, and throw things away. So anyway, they move me across the hall, and this is 116. I stayed in this bed for what? Two, I'm paying for this now. Okay, it's horrible. I wake up and I, they're all over me, just like um, the bites and everything. I went to urgent care, though, and they said it was scabies, too. So now then, I hadn't used this. The only thing I had on here, uh, this bed, um, that came out of the... Uh, suitcase so it had nothing on it the papers and I put them back I put them back here to show you uh, so I didn't let her cl uh, change the linen on that this bed I stayed on it a couple of nights and I just moved over in here uh, last night after I shampooed my hair and bathed and I went through all this I laid down and I got up at 11 o'clock and I put on the other video and I got a list of them trying to chronicle this part of what's been done to me and being done. And uh, I don't know where I, um, uh, I'm going to leave today. First of all, I can't afford it. And um, it's a nightmare if you don't have a place to be and you run around and uh, people don't care. And by the way, the apartment, that's the reason I stayed so long at night's end and went through that because they furnished uh, Mrs. N uh, no. It was at Knollwood, part of Richfield, a little studio, and 
uh, I've forgotten her name, no one, I think, um, but anyway, a friend of mine lived there, and um, she had promised me a, a an apartment there, a studio, right away. Well, it, it it kept going. I moved there in November the 5th, at, um, next door, where this part of it started, the um, um, night scene. And uh, I've called her a couple of times, and yeah, they were going to get me in. Well, I called her yesterday, and she didn't call me back. So I went through this. I would have actually left the uh, night scene. It was so bad back then, before it got this bad. But I was promised the apartment, and um, it looks bad if I move. They don't want to hear any of this because they already know it. 